Good morning, my lovelies. Although, by the time this gets posted, it will probably be afternoon, but regardless. Um, hello, greetings and salutations. So, um, today um, we are going to be doing a roped vortex bun. Um, the vortex bun originated um, from a really awesome gal named Cinnamon Curls, um, which you can find right here on YouTube. Um, and by all means, go and check out her vortex bun. Um, she's a ballerina. So uh, she had to figure out a way uh, to bun her hair so that when she turned and stuff, uh, she wasn't whacking her partner in the face. That and her uh, director really wanted it to be closer to the head, but since she had really long hair, she came up with a vortex. Um, so your background for all of that was because I have been getting questions about how I'm wearing my hair to the gym. Um, I go six days a week, um, yoga and cardio kind of stuff. Um, for yoga, I almost always just wear it in a Nautilus because when we do any floor work and uh, for Shavasana, um, I feel more relaxed with just my head on the floor and anytime I braid, I get the lump in the back of my head. So I usually just Nautilus, and then for floor work, I can pull the stick out and flop down and I'm gravy. So, um, but that leads us to the cardio. Um, I do uh, Zumba and Shabam um, because I like to dance and it doesn't feel like exercise. I mean, I sweat and it hurts, but it doesn't feel like exercise, if you know what I mean. So I've been wearing uh, the Vortex um, to eat up some extra length and to switch stuff up a bit. I've been using uh, three rope buns to make it instead of, you know, just the individual strands. So um, I'm here to show you how I do my vortex bun. Um, incidentally, this thing holds like cement. So uh, that's why it is very popular with myself. So um, what you're going to start with is a ponytail. Um, since this is a bun that spreads, you're going to want it like mid, mid head. I guess. Um, not too low because then you'll run out of room. And I mean you can put it up high if you want but whatever. Anyways about here and then you're going to do separate into three rope braids. You know if you don't know how to rope braid uh, I've got a video for that. <laughs> okay so um, pins. Um, Cinnamon Curls tends to use uh, just the regular hairpins, which I will be using. I just don't have very many of them because I tend to lose these. Um, I don't know where they go. They disappear. Um, so I will be using some of those. I will also be using some of my uh, Magic Grips because um, I have some, so I might as well use them. <laughs> so whichever pins you prefer and hold the best for you, use those. So, let's start. Make sure I'm in the center. We're going to start with the farthest right. And go up like this. And pin. Now, we won't have to pin quite so much um, after we get the start. But it, you really need to get the, the beginning a, a good base. Second braid. Up around the first one, we'll give it a pin, and last one, up around, give it a pin. As you can already see, we are starting to get a bit of a button. Now like I said, I went ahead and braided because it ate up some of the length um, in advance, which I rather liked. So this is all you're going to continue to do, um, is winding and pinning as you go roundy roundy. When I pin, I try and do the, the pin like this. Weave, do the weave thing. You wanna, you wanna kinda 
weave it through your hair. Just making sure that I'm groovy on that side too. Up and around. Now, the really nice thing about this bun is it is very flat to your head. So it's not going to stick out and poke anyone in the face. It actually also is not a bad one for yoga. Um, since it is relatively flat, it's pretty comfortable. Not the most comfortable, but that's just, that's my preference. Um, but it's hard for me to sleep just, you know, with a single braid down my back. I, I hate having that lump on the back of my head when I'm trying to sleep. Pigtail braids work pretty well, though. Um, it's just that in yoga, anytime I go into forward fold or some of the other moves, it flops down and hits the mat, and I think it disturbs some of the some of my classmates. Though, so. you know, I'm trying not to disturb my classmates. Trying to keep it nice and non-disturbing. So we are reaching the end where it's going to be time to tuck. So for the tucking up portions, I'm actually going to use my big bobbies just because they pinch a little bit. Like so. And this one. I'm going to check it out before I add my other pins. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So as you can see, the pattern is like a, a vortex. <laughs> but um, now, for all intents and purposes, that would probably hold. If I ha indeed had real Amish hairpins, this would hold beautifully. However, these are kind of the cheaper hairpins, so I'm just going to reinforce a little with my magic grips um, because because it makes me feel better to have it reinforced. <laughs> I'm just going to put them around the perimeter because when they slide in, then they slide in through the other braids. But that just makes me feel a little more secure because there's a lot of head whipping in Shaban. Gratuitous or no, they're still there. All right, and there you have it. There's your vortex bun, it is all done. Ta da! And as you can see, it doesn't move, it's nice and flat to the head, um, and it's really pretty. And it looks fancy, and it looks way harder than it was because you saw that it didn't take long. I didn't even cut or anything. I just showed you how we made it. Um, for today, for me, I'm adding sparklies because I got some. Um, I got these. Let's see how sparkly they are. Ooh. Yes. Little multicolor flowers because I'm a dork. And I can. So I'm just going to add some sparkle around the perimeter. Um, I got these on eBay. Uh, from one of the Chinese sellers um, because y'all know how cheap I am and I love rhinestones and rhinestone stuff is not cheap so I go on and I look and there are many people in China selling things covered in rhinestones because apparently they know how we Americans are very very tacky okay this American is very very tacky and uh, cannot stand me without some sparkle. So, I got myself some sparkle. There we go. I'll just add a couple more. Here, there, and everywhere. Because I can. See if I did a decent job. Yeah. So there you go. Just a little extra sparkle. 
Um, I probably should have got even more of those, huh? I thought three packs would be enough. Anyways, there you go. That is your hairstyle for the day, the Vortex Bun. It is a very good one for the gym um, because your hair won't move. Um, it will stand up to running, um, dancing, um, high impact kind of stuff. This one stands up pretty well. Um, as far as the best, the absolute best for high impact, it will still be the hair taping because having your hair sewn to your head is better than any pin. Um, <laughs> and if I could figure out how to sew this one in so it wasn't such a pain in the butt to take you down, I will probably show you that at some point if I can figure it out. So anyways, that's my phone, which means I gotta go. Alrighty, I will see you next time. Bye!